Hey everyone, Mr. Sugeno here. In today's video, I'm going to do an unboxing of a controller I just picked up called the Hitbox. Let's get started. All right, so here is the box that arrived in the mail today. I just took the labels off to protect my own information. Uh, but besides from that, this is the actual box and the way that it arrived. So I'll open it up. You can see the hitbox on the inside here. And immediately I can see there is some damage to the actual hitbox box itself. Um, I'm not entirely sure if that's going to be a damage on the inside of the package or not. But right away I can see there is some damage. You can see some folding here, uh, some damage in the corners. And it's been packed with just one piece of bubble wrap. So I don't know what the packaging inside the hitbox itself looks like, but I'm hoping um, that it is going to be in better condition than the outside of the box. So I will say that while I'm not a big collector of boxes and a damaged box doesn't really bother me, in the sense that it's probably just going to go in the recycle bin anyway. If you are a collector of boxes, you might want to reach out to Hitbox and just alert them that you would like the box in very good condition. So maybe pack it just a little better. Um, and if Hitbox, if you're watching this, just a heads up that the boxes do sometimes arrive like this. All right, let's take this out of the cardboard box here. All right, and you can see that the box itself has a few marks on the corners. And now I'll just get this box out of the way. All right, now that that's out of the way, we can take a look at this overall box. It's pretty simple, looks nice and clean. Just a picture. The sides are pretty bare. In the back, designed for fighting games. Fun to play, easy to use, ergonomic. It doesn't actually show me the uh, version that this is but it should be the PS4, PS3, PC version. We'll open it up and find out. So I'm a little relieved to see that there is foam here on the inside, which means the damage is probably just to the box only. And I'm actually very, very happy about that. So there is a piece of paper here. So I'll pick that out. Congratulations on purchasing your new PS4 hitbox. Time to level up. So you can see here, controller compatible with PlayStation 4, PlayStation 3, and PC. Sanwa Denshi Genuine Arcade Buttons, Metal Case, 3 meter wired controller, full touchpad not supported. I'm not overly concerned about that. Future firmware updates may be required. So it's nice because they are updating firmware. All right, I'll keep this and set it aside. All right, now to remove the hitbox itself from the case. I don't know what side's the top and what side's the bottom. So I'll just remove it like this. At this point, there's nothing else in the box, so I'm going to discard the box. All right, it's got the two foam protectors on the side, which is very nice to see. Covered in bubble wrap 
popping it here as I'm turning the controller over. So I'll just open that up. There's a QC Past sticker on the bottom. You can see here the screws, as well as the screws to take off the uh, backing that are kind of hidden here underneath these little rubber grippies. So there, it's a screw, try to get it to focus. See, so just a screw with a rubber grippy on it. So that'll be nice when you set it down on a tabletop. All right, on the front side, there is nothing. On the, I think this is the left side of it, there's nothing. On the right side, there's nothing. On the back, there are four buttons. There is a non-detachable USB cord. And on the front is the beautiful hitbox itself. So I'll just remove this little bag here that the USB cord is stored in. Now taking a look at it, it is a fairly long cord. It is gold plated USB. And I'm also noticing that there is a nice little fabric Velcro strap to hold the USB cord in place. And it is also branded Hitbox. Move that out of the way. I'll bring this closer to the camera. And you can see here, these are 24 millimeter buttons from Sanwa. This is a 30 millimeter. So this is a standard button that is on a fight stick. These are slightly smaller buttons that are usually found on fight stick option buttons. Uh, but it's actually surprisingly comfortable to use. And I've seen reviewers say that the hitbox is smaller than they thought. So I'm going to move this and I'm actually going to measure it. So you can see here it's about 16 inches across. and seven inches wide. And then roughly, just slightly over two inches, I would say maybe that's two and a quarter inches uh, in thickness. And I'm also noticing that these buttons here on the top that people have complained about in the past require more force than the buttons on the face. You can see here the difference and how much they actually stick up from the controller itself. And the purpose of that I'm assuming is for accidental button presses when you are in the middle of a match, because if you do bring up the menu and you're in a tournament setting, you forfeit that round. So this will hopefully uh, prevent that a little bit, but we will see. But overall, it is actually slightly uh, heavier than I thought it was going to be. It is solid metal. It looks to be put together very well. I am noticing there is a slight raise to the plexi right here. So I'll see if that wears down in time or if it's just a slight adjustment that needs to be made. But all in all, I am pretty happy with this so far. I will be posting a review in, I don't know, maybe give or take two weeks after I've had a chance to use it and to really get familiar with it. That's all I've got today. Thank you, everyone. Take care.